Welcome! In this video I'm going to talk about the Vegetation Paint tool in Sight Motion 2020. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video I'm going to talk about the tool Vegetation Paint, how I use it in Sight Twin Motion 2020. So, Vegetation Paint, you can find it here in context, okay? That's the tool we're going to work on, okay? Um, how I use vegetation paint? I really use vegetation paint not in my actual projects because if you're a garden designer or a landscape architect that's using twin motion uh, to create their renderings, you really want to be specific about the placing of a plant, okay? Even if, even if it's not like the actual final place, um, you want to be as close as possible to give a realistic expectation to your client of what their garden is going to look like. But I use vegetation uh, paint for background, okay? So normally you choose the, co the, the background image, here is like a countryside, uh, but it really looks great when you have your renderings, okay, your, your Im still images, if you have some big trees, if you have a more natural environment, or if it's in an urban uh, uh, setting, you know, of course you add buildings to it, okay? But in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a more natural feeling of uh, like maybe not a woodland in this case, but you know, just a, a small forest or something like this, just a, a collection of, of, um, of trees. So uh, what normally I choose, just, um, you know, it depends on the context of your model, okay? So I'm just going to be a bit random right now, just for the video. Uh, but of course you try and, ch and choose something uh, specific to your region okay um, let me just go and put the olive Italian pine tree mm, and I think that's probably okay but I want some ground uh, ground um, uh, coverage as well so let's check it out if I have something like maybe a tall grass something like this will be cool as well um, and I like some maybe uh, some rocks as well a bit of stone let's just go and bring that here so as you can see you can just pick things uh, kind of things you wanna you wanna you will feel like natural will happen um, things like this dead branches you can add as, as well and now the cool thing about the vegetation paint is that if you come here and you select each one you can actually because maybe you don't want the same density of rock as you want the Italian uh, stone pine okay so you know just uh, just lower the intensity of rocks that you want okay or you can write it down as well so you can actually choose the density of the things you want okay just write it down uh, oh sorry just make sure it's written um tall grass yeah in here just 10 percent as well okay and maybe i want to see more um uh more um pine trees than olives yeah that's okay so now you just press shift in the keyboard and just press all of them okay uh if you want to the and just pick up the brush okay you can pick up the diameter of the brush here just make it uh, slightly bigger and just start painting don't forget uh, don't exaggerate or okay just really make sure uh, that you have um the the amount of trees you want okay for your um for the background of your images okay sometimes i like to add some um some uh, like um, other trees but you can do that later as well um and of course it randomizes the sizes so it looks uh, as natural as possible um, so it doesn't make it really heavy. You see that green leaves you see there? That's the tall grass bits, okay? So it's not very detailed right now, but when you, when you, when you, when you're gonna, when you're gonna do the renderings, you're gonna see much more detailed, okay? So that looks pretty cool. And as you can see, I love the, the, um, I love the, the, the background of having uh, the house plus trees in the background plus your garden ideas and I think that works really well. So that's how I use vegetation um, paint.
as you can see here this is all the grass and you have these green leaves just to to make it more uh, to make it to don't make so slow the workflow of your project so that's pretty cool i'm just going to quickly change here the the material of the yeah just to make it more natural and of course you can add other stuff and if you want to add m some other things um you just go here vegetation paint and it's still all these things here so i'm just gonna go and add some more um not detailed grass maybe some taller grasses more dense maybe oh no that's the same as the other one uh with this one okay and he paints it it's like you like you did at the same time all the other stuff okay so that's pretty cool because it has like this mapped area of vegetation where you use the vegetation paint and now i can i can just add here or if i want to delete something or if the rock i want to change the density and it changes here without you having to do any extra work so you want uh, to add stuff and uh, maybe okay i have this um this italian um, pine tree but maybe i want some other kind of pine trees or something um to add here i'm not really happy with ju just the shape of this um pine tree let me check it out if i want if okay maybe i'll have this one as well so as you can see he adds to all the the area that you actually painted okay so that's really really cool if you actually have all this uh you can change here the settings but you have here settings okay for the specific growth of that species okay but because maybe you want this species all in their mature uh, uh age okay so you will change here all at the same time so that's pretty cool and that's in the in the in the in all the all this in the tab there um in the settings tab sorry so that's pretty cool that you can change from there straight away okay um because normally is random okay so and without doing any other extra work you can just go here to the vegetation paint and change that okay let me just go here just to make it bigger the olive trees i put them all in their mature stages and that's always there okay so don't forget if you delete it from here any species you're going to delete from the area you have the the vegetation okay uh let's check it out some italian cypresses as well oh just be careful because if it comes too close to the to the if it starts getting really dense it comes maybe too close to your model okay so just pay close attention to that okay but you can always uh, just um, make it less dense or more dense you see it starts actually substituting other plants with these ones okay so that's pretty cool but i'm gonna delete this that's pretty cool so i really like this I, I i love this tool again for the background okay i don't use this tool inside my project except if it's a really big area of your project and you really uh, want to be random with it uh, maybe it's a woodland area and you can actually you don't need to use trees with this uh, with this um, tool okay you can just use maybe stones and tall grasses just to give a more random feel okay and because you can actually uh, play around with the density of the paintbrush that you're using um, it's pretty easy to just put it smaller and just do a pathway or something like this okay so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what are the things you want to see in twin motion if you want to see something else uh, just a quick thing just before we go if you actually want to delete you can just delete like this okay you just use the the the, the eraser here vegetation eraser and it just deletes this the the areas of um that you painted okay 
if you're getting too close to the to the model like he was doing it there in a bit so i'm gonna add some renderings to the end of this video uh check it out um next time i'm gonna do about i'm gonna do a video in twin motion about the scatter tool so that's the next tool you have here okay how i use it okay and this is a great tip if you want 3d grass for your model okay um so subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next one bye bye guys see you